So this is the window which we are going to make or decorate. Unusually for a glass painting site, we're not using any glass paint. This is all adhesive lead and coloured transparent window fill. Like many of these projects, we start on the computer. I've done a copy of my design out and this is a full size copy. From that, I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to have a black and white copy, which I'll print out full size. It helps me check that I have all the pieces I need. And I shall also stick it to the back of the window to help me with the layout. Also, I'm going to make templates for the color pieces I want. So if we say, look at this piece here, I want brown piece in that size. Just make sure I've got it there. And there you can see I've highlighted the brown. Now I actually want the film to be big enough to go under the lead surround. So I'm just going to make that a little larger. Um, there we are. I shall make it a little larger. And there you can see it's gone larger. Now all I should need to do is copy that go to a blank A4 sheet and paste it in um, and I'll rotate that around I want to use up as little of the film as possible so rotate it around like that there we go and then finally I'm going to take the colour out of that because it's pointless um, printing the colour. Whoops. Hold on, let me undo that. That was a bit silly. There we are. Take the colour out. Whoops, it would have been nice if that was white. There we go. So I know now that is a piece to be cut out. I'll just warn you at this stage um, with my de particular design here it doesn't matter because this is symmetrical it's actually four quarters but if uh, your design isn't symmetrical like mine the last thing you'll want to do on the pieces to cut out is to mirror it because you will be cutting them out backwards. I'll explain that in a bit, but you'll want to mirror your design. Anyway, I, I carry on and per color, I do the templates. Now this is the one for all the brown. And I'll do likewise with the blue and the red and the yellow. So I have templates for all of those, but don't forget to mirror it if your design isn't symmetrical. Okay, we'll go on and see what I do with the templates. So this is my bit of film. And what I've done is stuck my template on the back of that using PVA glue. Don't use too much PVA glue. Um, it does make it go slightly crinkly, but don't worry, that will come out when we put it onto the window. But you can see now why I said you have to mirror the design if it's not symmetrical because we're actually cutting this side and it's showing that side. So it will need to be the other way around. Just think about it. Right, I'm going to cut these out using a mixture of my craft knife and scissors. And I'm working to the edge of the black line because I want that film. Don't worry, I shan't make you watch every little bit of this. Let's say working to the edge of the black line. Obviously, I'm on a cutting mat here. I'm 
I think we cut that one. Remember, we are working on the back of the film. Let's take this piece out. Find my scissors. Again, working to the edge of the line. You've got a little bit of leeway because the lead is uh, the one I'll be using mostly is 4.5 millimeters thick and we'll trim that side down just ever so slightly in a second but you get the idea I say I won't make you watch it all but I will go on now and cut out all of these pieces and then we'll be ready to move on to the next stage. There we go. I just want to trim this side down ever so slightly. And that'll be our piece. I should carry on and do the rest of those. And I've already done it for the other pieces and the other colours. The reds, the brown and the single piece of yellow we've got. So these blue ones are the last ones I shall have to do. We'll then take the whole thing uh, downstairs to the window with my full size template. And just check we've got all the pieces we want. Or need. So as you can see here I've laid all the pieces out um, obviously I haven't stopped them down or anything I just laid them out to make sure one they're all roughly the right size and two I've got all the pieces I need so now I'm sure about that I'm going to take the blank design which you can see under here Let me just... I shall place that into the window and that will give me keep that one safe because I'll need to put that on first that will give me the template to work to so let me go and do that and we shall come back and start sticking on the adhesive film so here's the window I intend doing. It's uh, by my front door. I don't know if you remember we did this not so long ago. We will have a clash of designs but I don't mind so much because uh, it's just uh, examples of what you can do. Uh, my wife will probably worry about that more than I do. Anyway, so this is the window I want to do and I've got all the pieces around I need. Uh, one of the main things is I've got a squirty can with some uh, soapy water in it, just a little bit of soapy water. And if you spray the window like that uh, before you put the film on, it does give you a chance to reposition the film. It won't stick down totally in one go. Uh, sorry if I just went in front of the camera there. Um, you're going to see the back of my head. There's not a lot I can do about that, I'm afraid. Um, I've decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to start in the middle with the yellow, then the blues, and work my way out from each side. But this is just with the film. I'm going to get all the film on first, and then we'll worry about the lead after that. Now, I'm peeling the film off slightly. Uh, try not to get finger marks on it. Uh, I say, as I wet it a little bit, I will get a chance to reposition it. It won't stick down at the moment. You can see it slips and slides around. Uh, the problem I've got is the design. This is double glazed. 
the design is a fair bit back so if I keep on standing back and now I'm going to get my ruler and I'm just going to try and check as far as possible that this is in the center and that actually isn't bad where are we there maybe I cross just a tad at the bottom there but that isn't bad at all quite like that and what you're going to have to do because you've wet the window I've got a special tool here don't worry if you haven't got one of these um, you can use a hard piece of plastic credit card or that's membership card for something gym membership put it to good use um, anything like that is fine and I've got a cloth here to soak up the excess water and when you've done that it should be firmly onto the glass and it also has the added benefit getting your kinks out any air out Uh, now it, it is no longer sliding around and I'm quite happy with how that is positioned. So I shall carry on. Uh, I'll do my next bit, which is one of the blue bits. Again, light spray of water. That is soapy water, just a teeny, teeny fraction of soap in there. And then I'm trying to do this so I'm not in your way. Down just a fraction. Oh. And again, that looks okay to me. I will just double check that as soon as I find my ruler. So this time, just want to make sure it's in the right place. And that seems okay. So again, get the water out of that one. Right, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to add all the bits of coloured film to this design and then we will come back to have a look at the leading. Right, so I've done all the film, coloured film, and it's time to start on the leading. It's important to work out very carefully before you start what order you're going to do the leading in. Uh, that's because you want to cover up as many ends as possible. So I'm going to actually start with this one here. And put that there. And then this one here will cover that end. I'll do this one. And then this one round to here, which will cover that end and that end. And that one round to there, which will cover that end and that end. So basically, as we go along, we're going to cover as many of the loose ends as possible and the main one at, towards the end will be round here which will get all these loose ends coming in okay I shall get on with that I've already cut a piece I like to try and work to my ruler um, that gives me a nice straight line then so I will work to that 
and I'm going right up to the black here and that end obviously will be covered by the strip coming down. So let's take off the backing from this piece of lead. I should have used my craft knife to do that. You might get a bit of background noise, there's a lot of wind today I'm afraid. This is called the boning tool or a boning tool. Um, don't worry if you haven't got one, again, a piece of hard metal, hard plastic will suffice, but Obviously on the next one I won't be able to use a ruler because it isn't straight line. Make sure you touch at least the film because you know as long as you get up to and touch the film then you've got to be where the, the next piece of lead will go. Just bend and press, bend and press. Scissors. Cut that bit off there. There we go. It's just touching the film. And I will use this to ensure that is firmly down onto the glass. It does give it a little ridge here, which is fine. That looks like your solder on stained glass. There we go. I should do the next one. Obviously, I'm just going to carry on and do this whole piece. Measure up my next bit. Always cut just a tad longer than I need. Better for it to be too long than too short. Yeah. And obviously, whilst you're leading it, you want to ensure you're covering up any gaps. that off. Right, I shall carry on letting this up. Might show you a little bit more towards the end. Um, but say lateral thinking Think about which order you're going to do things in. Make sure you cover up any of these little gaps. And that will give it a really nice look to finish with. Looks a bit bitty at the moment, but by the time you've got your lead on there, all these gaps will be covered. Well, as you can see, I've done most of the leading. Uh, I thought I'd let you see a bit of this, which is the final bit around the middle, which is going to tie up all these ends. I hope. Um, I've cut a piece of lead. Now I'm going to start in the middle on this side. By doing that, by the time I get to the bottom here, it should be well stuck on to do the corner. I just want to try and make sure I get. all these and there's a teeny little bit there which I must cut off later 
obviously by the time it gets to the bottom it's got to be going horizontal and then we just keep pressing a little bit there which I need cutting off oops come off and I can see a bit of blue so I'm going to go backwards make sure I've got that bit of blue there sorry I could see a bit of white through the blue Now these little bits here, I don't know if you can see that, there's a tiny bit of lead there. I'm going to have to try and cut those off without damaging the film underneath, which should be quite fun. Again, by the time it gets to the top, it should be horizontal. You'll get the odd bit of kinks in there, but that will come out when you smooth it down. So at the moment, the most important thing is to make sure I cover all these ends. There we go, hopefully. There we are. Okay, now to find the boning tool and make sure all that is flat down. Right, I'll probably go over that again. So the final two things I have to do is put the big eight edging on and cut off those little bits and hopefully I'll be able to show you the final product. And here is the finished window. As you can see it throws some nice coloured light into the hallway. A couple of things I noticed, the main one being the films didn't turn out quite the colour I thought they would. The, the brown has turned into more of an amber, orangey colour. Also, you'll notice the blue, that's the same blue, top and bottom, but the light coming through the black back makes all the difference. Anyway, I hope you like this project. No need to use our design if you don't want to, but make your own you can use our techniques we've shown you in this video to put your own design onto your own size window happy crafting